guys welcome back to my channel i just wanted to come on i know it's been a while since i posted a video but i made my own acrylic so i definitely had to come on and show y'all how i did it so if you're interested in watching stay tuned it was super easy this is the end result and how it's going to look when it's finished it's a super cute glitter acrylic but it has a pink tint to it because of some of the glitter although when it shines it's got that green iridescence super cute i love it so much if you know me you know i love glitter acrylic so i'm going to show you guys how i actually did it so this is just the little jar that i put it in on the right it's not um actually pouring pretty products i just dumped out the powder that was in there because i needed a container and then again i have my glitter that i got off of amazon if i can find the link i'll put it in the description below and i used clear acrylic from model ones so here I just have my empty jar. I had made some already. I'm really making a refill that I'm showing you guys. But I just dumped in some of the clear acrylic. Again, it's from Model Ones. So I went ahead and just scooped some of the clear acrylic into the jar. I just used a full cover nail tip to scoop it. But if you really need to, you can use a spoon or something like that. And then here, I'm just gonna dump in some of the glitter. You don't wanna fill it all the way up to the top with the acrylic, um, and then the space that you do leave, you just wanna basically fill that with glitter and mix it in. You don't wanna have too much glitter, you kinda gotta have like a one-to-one -one ratio. So here, obviously, I'm just gonna stir it up. I just used one of my little detail brushes that I have on the side. And it was a little hard to stir because I think there's a clump of dried acrylic down at the bottom. But either way, you just stir it up until you can see that the powder is evenly mixed up with the glitter. So I also picked up some coffin nail tip from Savvy Land. I also got these off of Amazon, it makes it even more. So I just wanted to try these out since they're brand new. Um, so I actually just popped off a finger so I could test them out and test out my new acrylic to see how well they work together. So here I'm just measuring a nail tip, making sure it fits the sides. We're gonna glue that on and clip it and then we'll get to the actual shaping. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and apply some primer. I also use Model 1's primer right now. I want to try some others, but this is what I got at the moment. And then we're going to go ahead and apply the acrylic. Now, I'm going to be honest, a lot of this went out of the camera view. It is very tricky to do your nails on camera. I'm still working at it, so you get to see like the beginning and a little second of it. And then it's just going to cut out because it was a waste. It was not on camera but here is what it looks like freshly applied and then we're going to go ahead and shape it now this i did get on camera so you can see how i shape my coffin nails i like to go in with a hand file first and get my sides and my edges make sure the sides are shaped the way i want them to and then i like to go in with my e-file Now here I'm going in with my e-file. It's not a safety bit, so you definitely want to be very careful on the cuticles if it's not. Um, and this acrylic actually does okay. I know a lot of times people like to cap it with clear so that the, the glitter is not like shaving off when you actually file it. But I actually don't mind it with this glitter because it's so much glitter in there for one. The broken flakes actually kind of give it a little extra shine, so I don't mind it as far as this one. And it doesn't really come off in chunks like some glitter acrylic will do. It's actually pretty fine. So filing it with the E file was pretty nice. 
and I also left the video in real time here just so you guys can see how quickly I actually move when I'm filing. I know a lot of times I speed up the video and it looks like filing is super quick, but it honestly does take some time. I like to take my time and go slow so I'm not nicking myself and just so I'm not shaving the wrong thing. You would hate for a piece of the nail to go lopsided or kind of flat. And then you gotta go back in it, add more acrylic, wait for it to dry. It's just easier to just take your time, hit those little pieces and make the nail look nice and smooth. As well, a trick I like to use is to actually look down the barrel of the nail from the front of the tip. That way if there is any unevenness or any lopsided parts, you can see it pretty easily and go ahead and shave that down. Now, I know some people like to hit the edges of their nails with their hand file. Me personally, I like to do it with my e-file because for some reason when I do it with the hand file, it always comes out lopsided. I think just having the e-file, knowing it's longer than the nail, I know it's going to be a straight line. So I just go across the edge with the e-file, make sure everything is still the same length as the other hand, and we should be good to go. Now you can see how my finger is angled up. This is the part I was talking about where I looked down the barrel of the nail. And I can see there was a little bit on that side there that was higher than the other side. So I just went ahead and shaved it off and got my last little finishing touches in before we go ahead and top off this nail. Now here I'm going back in with my final grit hand file and just topping it off with a quick little buff just to make sure it's a little bit smoother before I put on my top coat. This will help you grab it a little bit better and just make sure there's no graininess between the acrylic and the glitter. And now we're just going to top it off with our clear top coat and cure it for 60 seconds and we're good to go. And here is the finished product guys. I am so in love with this glitter acrylic and I honestly cannot wait to make some more. I'm in the process of getting a bunch of stuff like containers and more glitter and all that type of stuff so I can really just make my own. This is really just something that's simple but it's so cute to me. So if you're interested, this is a super easy way to make some acrylics if you don't have a bunch of colors or if you just really want some glitter on your nails and don't have glitter acrylic super easy solution so if you guys liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to share and comment and if you have any suggestions or questions feel free to let me know in the comments thanks for watching guys